So today I'm going to show you and give you some information about the uh, tow hitch for the Model Y performance, performance. This is the European version of tow hitch, so it doesn't look like this the ones in North America. Uh, first I will show you the, the hitch package. It comes in a little bag, foamed bag, uh, with two keys for unlocking the hitch. Then you have the tow hitch itself with the second key and the lid for the bearing ball. There you have it. So I have only used this once. Uh, so this is my second time. Uh, and what I did, uh, I just got a small or found a small plastic uh, thingy that was a part of my uh, I fix it package so this one is perfect for opening this lid here and by the way this lid is it's a bad construction uh, so it's a bit fiddly to open but so there we got it that's that's all you just remove that plastic part Put it in the in the boot. Remove this, and now you see the the electric 12-pin connection. And, uh, a hole here for mounting the wire, the safety wire. I will show you later. So the only thing you do is to put this in, and that sound means that it's locked. Yeah, you turn the key, remove it, now it's stuck, that's all. So now I'm going to mount the trailer. So now it's mounted and as you see here, this is the newer type of connection and when I say new is like 15 years. Uh, this is the old one, it's a the old one is a 7 pin connector, the new one is 12 I think. And you see the tow hitch or the trailer is mounted on the on the ball and the safety wire goes into this metal loop. And make sure to check the brake and lift up the, the trailer wheel. So that's safely in place. And then you just check in the car that the connection is all right. And you will see a little nice little symbol on the screen that shows you that you're in tow mode. Let's check that. The symbol up to the left. That one automatically appears or turns up when you have connected the electricity or the, or the electric cable uh, for the trailer and then you're all set it's just the next step is only to drive away So the whole experience is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I normally drive with the backup camera and the side mirror views uh, active, just to have a better view and better control of the of the trailer. Uh, the nice thing with an electric car, an EV, uh, at least with this kind of uh, torque, a lot of torque and horsepower, uh, it's very easy, uh, and you almost don't even notice that you have a trailer behind you that you're putting a trailer because it's, it's so strong and the trailer is 
nothing uh, for the torque of the car. Uh, and another thing that I just remembered is that you, it's very important to double check uh, the brake lights and the signal lights of the trailer. Uh, and I also noticed that the, there was almost no grease uh, on the trailer hitch ball. Uh, without grease it will make a lot of sound and uh, yeah it's not good you need to grease the trailer hitch ball or bearing I don't know what's called but maybe it's called bearing but yeah just put on some uh, some regular car grease uh, and it will be perfectly fine and remember to do that uh, now and then then you also avoid rust on the on the ball. Rust is not good on the ball. But all in all, uh, the tow hitch works fine. Uh, what I don't like is the fiddly plastic lid uh, that that you need to remove before mounting the the tow hitch. Uh, so that could have been better. Uh, it was all. It will also be nicer, of course, with a semi-automatic or fully automatic tow hitch. But I only use it tops five times a year, maybe between between two and five times. So a full and manual one like this is, is probably good enough. And I probably don't want to pay uh, if, if there was an option for full automatic. It would probably be a lot more expensive. So... That's all, drive safe and thank you for listening.